The next thing we're going to fix on this image are the lips. And if I zoom in on them, Command Space Bar, click and drag, we can see that there are a few little things that we need to fix. Namely, there's this little area right here where the lips are just joined together a little bit and uh, the, the, the line is dipping down. And it's a little bit distracting, so I might just fix that up a little bit. Also, there are quite a few little areas around here which are dry and there are a few little spots. I don't want to remove all these little fine lines because they're actually a natural part of the anatomy of lips and if they're removed, there's a chance that the lips may look like they've been, uh, say, injected with Botox or something. So we'll leave most of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy everything onto a new layer. So Command Option Shift E to copy everything we've done onto a new layer. And I might just rename this Lips Fix. So firstly, I'm going to fix up this little dip in the uh, top lip here. So M for my marquee tool, click and drag over that area, come up to Filter, Liquify, Command plus to zoom in a little bit, uh, increase my brush size, and all I have to do is just lift that this section up a little bit so it's a little it's a little straighter. And that's an improvement, so I'll click OK, Command D to deselect, and now I'm just going to use my patch tool to uh, to clean up these these random spots here and there. So J for my patch tool, and I'll click and drag these spots onto cleaner patches of skin on various patches around the lips here and you can see very quickly we're getting rid of most of those little dry patches here and there at least the most prominent ones anyway command minus to uh, pan out a little bit command D to deselect I'll do a quick before and after and see what that looks like. Before and after. And that's probably all we really need to do at this stage to fix, uh, just to clean up the lips just a little bit. I might just remove this little this little spot right there. Now the next thing I'd like to do is I want to clean up the edges of the lips here because they're a little bit faint, they're not that defined. So what we can do is very quickly get onto the stamp tool with the S key and at 30% opacity so I'll just option click on the left hand side of this little white patch here and we'll start off with by getting rid of by cleaning up this bottom section here. So option click on this little darker patch to the left and brush it over that little faint white patch. And as uh, I'll continue doing this doing the same and working my way up along the bottom of the lip here. Now it's a little bit messy down here, so I'll sample some of the skin just underneath that area. Option click and start sweeping and creating a bit of bit of a more defined line along the bottom of this lip here. Before and after. And it's a, it's slowly improving. The next thing I'm going to do, just get rid of that little spot right there, is to start working on the top of the lip and doing the same thing, which is just defining the edge of the lip just a little bit more. So I'll sample some of the skin above the lip, such as right here, option click, and just start just sculpting these lips into uh, into a nice shape. Just like this. Before and after. And you can see that the lips are just that little bit more defined in, in shape. Now just before we finish, I might just soften some of these lines a little bit and just make them a little bit more uniform all over. And I've just spotted a few a few more dry patches which we can get rid of. And I think that'll do for now. So quick before and after, before and after. And so that quickly that's how you can clean up the lips and give them just a little bit more definition. And in a later tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the lips and how to contour them in order to give them a little bit more definition.